Okay, sorry about the interruption. Um, here we go. So we would like to have our window um, 2,500 wide. So let's go back here, click on the window. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. I'm gonna click that dimension, 2,500, enter. So it expands. Now back to the drawing. We want it to be 250 from the center line of the wall that we're cutting through. Here it's 465, so I'm going to make that 250. It shifts it a bit. Sometimes it might start shifting the wrong thing. So if you type in a different number here, it might make your window smaller, things like that. Um, you can always sort of manually override it by just uh, dragging and pulling stuff to make it, to make it a different size. Um, does it specify a height? No, it just says 850 off the ground and a thousand from the roof, from the ceiling, I suppose. So let's make that a thousand. And let's make this one a little bit smaller. Um, 800, let's see what happens if we punch in 850 here. Bumps it up and it doesn't really tell us what the height up there is. Now, this may work. I'm gonna try something here. See these little handles you have on these temporary dimensions? The, by the way, these temporary dimensions only appear when you click on the object itself. Oh, now it gave me this height, so I can drag this down to here, 800. I guess we want it to be level with the other door. It's 1,000. Anyway, I'm gonna, or it's 25 off. Okay, we're really, splitting hairs here 975 whatever good enough um, what I was gonna say is that uh, you can use these temporary dimensions and drag them to align them with other things so I can use it to align with that so let's say I now want this window to be 25 millimeters taller I can just type in 1200 here and apparently won't let me do it lovely okay I can play around with this stuff later and figure out why it didn't let me do that, but uh, I guess in a nutshell, now we have 850 here. We want to see what the height is from the top of the window to the ceiling. So I'm just going to grab that handle, put it over there, and now it's 950. Anyway, this looks close enough for, uh, to me for now. Um, I will try to do an extra tutorial and figure out how to play with these uh, temporary dimensions um, to make your life a bit easier, but that's how you can do that. So we've got the window built, hit escape twice to exit the previous command. Select the same wall, click edit profile. So we're going to click this, oops, we're going to click the wall. And we can either double click the wall, I believe that'll allow us to edit the profile, yes. Or we select the wall, hit edit profile. That's strange, it doesn't show up as a... Um, is a cut in the wall. Let's see what's going on here. Draw a 2000 mm wide rectangle in the above described portion. Oh, so we did a wall opening in this case, and that doesn't change the wall profile. It just cuts into an existing chunk of the wall. Another way we can cut an opening into a wall is to change the wall profile. Uh, and this is something, it's really similar to the way we set up floor plates. Remember when we were dealing with the pink lines to set up the concrete floor? Uh, floors and patios. So same principle applies here. It has to be one continuous line. It cannot have any extra lines in it such as is indicated here. It has to look more like this. And you can kind of create an opening inside of the wall doing that. So let's give that a shot. 750 from this side. 750, <clears throat> 750 from the center line of this wall. And <clears throat> 